there before the most beautiful story that has taken place since Jesus and Mary lived amongst us here on earth. Where is Garabandal and what is it? Garabandal is an isolated village with a population of about 300 people in the Cantabrian mountains of northwestern Spain. The village is imbued with supernatural serenity and beauty. On June 18, 1961, four girls, Conchita González, Jacinta González and Marie Loli Mazón, who were 12 years old at the time, and Marie Cruz González, who was 11, were playing together in the village when they heard a sound like thunder. They were frightened and raised their heads to see where the noise came from. Suddenly, they saw before them the beautiful, resplendent figure of an angel. After a few brief moments and without a word, he disappeared. During the next few days, the angel continued his visits, during which he looked at them in silence and smiled. The people of Garabandal began to meet with the girls in the evening to pray the rosary while they waited for the angel to appear. Finally, on June 1st, 1961, the angel spoke to the girls and said, Do you know why I have come? I have come to proclaim that the Blessed Virgin Mary will appear to you tomorrow as Our Lady of Mount Carmel. The girls, filled with joy, cried out simultaneously, Tell her to come soon. On June 2nd, in those days, the feast day of the visitation, at around 6 p.m., the girls were in the Calleja, a stone path, when the Blessed Virgin appeared to them with the child Jesus and two angels. The girls recognized one of them as the angel who had appeared to them previously, who was later identified as Saint Michael the Archangel. The other was almost completely identical. Above the Blessed Virgin, to the right, there was an eye which the girls called the Eye of God. Without fear, the girls began to speak with the Blessed Virgin. They told her about their families and the work they did in their houses or in the fields, and the Blessed Virgin Mary smiled at them. Conchita said that it was as if her own mother had been gone on a long trip and had just come home. They prayed the rosary with the Blessed Virgin, who taught them to pray the rosary well. When the Blessed Virgin said she had to leave, the little girls pleaded with her to stay. To console them, she promised that she would return the following day. She did return, not only on the following day, but on hundreds of occasions, sometimes appearing several times during the day or the night. The girls knew when Our Lady was going to appear to them, thanks to what the girls themselves called the Yamadas, or interior calls. They received three interior calls, in which they experienced an increasing joy that preceded and announced the apparition. After the third interior call, the joy was so intense that they began to run from wherever they were towards the place of the apparition. They arrived almost simultaneously and fell onto their knees abruptly in an ecstatic trance. In August of 1961, the girls began to walk during their ecstasies. With their eyes fixed upwards, they walked forwards and backwards throughout the village. During the first apparitions, the girls offered pebbles to the child Jesus, whom the Blessed Virgin sometimes brought with her, because they wanted to make him laugh. The child did not take the pebbles, but our mother did. She kissed them and requested that they be given to certain people after the ecstasy. The onlookers soon began to give the girls numerous religious objects for Our Lady to kiss, or when the girls were not present, they left the objects on tables next to the girls' houses which were placed there for that very purpose. There was no way for the girls to know to whom each article belonged. Even so, during the ecstasies, with their faces always turned upwards and with their eyes fixed on heaven, guided by the vision, in all of the thousands of times that they returned rosaries, medals, wedding rings and other religious objects to their owners, they never made a mistake.
We must make many sacrifices, perform much penance and visit the Blessed Sacrament frequently. But first, we must lead good lives. If we do not, a chastisement will befall us. The cup is already filling up and if we do not change, a very great chastisement will come upon us. As my message of October 18th has not been fulfilled and has not been made known to the world, I tell you that this is my last message. Before the cup was filling up, now it is overflowing. Many cardinals, many bishops and many priests are on the road to perdition and are taking many souls with them. Less and less importance is being given to the Eucharist. You should turn the wrath of God away from yourselves by your efforts. If you ask for his forgiveness with sincere hearts, he will forgive you. I, your mother, through the intercession of St. Michael the Archangel, ask you to amend your lives. You are now receiving the last warnings. I love you very much and do not want your condemnation. Pray to us with sincerity and we will grant your requests. You should make more sacrifices. Meditate on the passion of Jesus. November 13th, 1965 was a bittersweet day for Conchita. She walked alone to the pines as the rain fell down on her. The Blessed Virgin Mary appeared again to the young woman. She came with the child Jesus, who was all smiles, but this would be the last time. Addressing Conchita, the Blessed Virgin Mary said, Conchita, tell me, tell me about my children. I have all of them under my mantle. This will be the last time you see me here, but I will be with you always and with all my children. Conchita, you should visit my son more often in the tabernacle. He is waiting for you all, day and night. Conchita responded to the Blessed Virgin, How happy I am when I see you. Why don't you take me with you right now? She answered, Remember what I told you on your saints' day? When you present yourself before God, you must show him your hands filled with the good works you have done for your brothers and for the glory of God. In this moment, your hands are empty. Those words marked the end of the visible manifestation of Our Lady in Garabandal. The happy moments the girls had spent with their Heavenly Mother had come to an end, but they continued to feel her presence and the impression she had made on their souls. Conchita said that the apparitions left my soul full of peace and joy and gave me a great desire to overcome my defects and to love the Lord and His Most Holy Mother with all my strength. Our Heavenly Mother wants to leave that same impression on all of our souls. She promises to us the same thing that she promised to Conchita in that last apparition. We will help you. I will be with you always and with all of my children. <laughs>